Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This one's a pretty special one. We've just done a boys trip, come down to um, get ourselves some waves. It's been pretty magical. We've caught some of the best waves that I've had in a very long time. We've had plenty of laughs, plenty of beers, and caught plenty of squid. Check out some of the footage. Hopefully it's epic. Hopefully the footage is as epic that's how it felt to us because it has been an amazing trip. Cheers guys, check it out. This place, mate, looks absolutely awesome. Weekend. I think nominating MVP for the trip here, Berkey did a fine job, but I think the real MVP goes to the, the tyre. Goes to the tyre. Have a look at that shit. How did that make it? So close. <laughs> here you go, mate. Have yourself a drink. <laughs> Get that in ya. Get that in ya. We were lucky. Good ties. Mate, this is just world class. Why travel overseas when you can surf world class waves in your backyard?
let's get it right. We left early. Early not. We blew a tyre out, 80 k's out from the tank tower. We were worried about the other tyre for the next 500 kilometres. We got here. We went and had an awesome service. And some of us contributed to dinner tonight. Awesome day. You. That's an adventure. You. Determined red deer going up. Big squid. Big squid. Big squid. Oh, who's oh. surfer in northwestern Australia certainly has its challenges. Decent waves are few and far between. We can spend hours studying spoil maps and weather charts just to go without. But when everything comes together, when a swell pushes up the coast and when the crew can all get away, relatively uncrowded, fun waves are our reward. It's trips like this that keep us going. It's trips like this that we dream of. And it's trips like this that we must be trips with good people, good waves, good laughs, and plenty of trips and battles.